Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's. Just got here a Mercedes Vito to look at. So it's a 2019 or a 2020, uh, late 2019 basically. So inside here we have engine management light on and it's had seven or eight different repairs to try and resolve it but no luck yet. So let's see if we can find out what's going on. Gonna do an automatic search of the vehicle here, diagnostic scan, and we're going to look at the engine codes. Now I'll tell you what has been done with this so far is it's had an EGR cooler replaced, it had then it went back for an, some more issues and the same problem he was having basically. Okay so yeah he's told me that he's had these two codes before he's come here so I just need to figure out what's going on of course it's hard to say over the phone what the problem is. Now exhaust gas recirculation so it's had it's had this replaced as well as the EGR cooler it's had the DPF taken off and cleaned and then the problem came back the same day again that was done at a separate time problem came back same day uh, NOx sensor was replaced it, that came back the same day it's had a boost pressure sensor for this and various other bits and pieces he said um, so he's had it at another place where they he said he's, they've connected a machine to the DPF to clean the DPF and the problem came back the next the same day sorry uh, he brought it back to the guy who cleaned it again with the machine I, I think he was talking about it like a terror clean machine um, and he said he, he didn't know what to do so he asked him to come and see me so this is why we're here so airflow now this is what I didn't what I wasn't told on the phone the flow rate of the EGR position low pressure so there's two different types of EGR valve one is a high pressure EGR one is a low pressure EGR usually if you've got a blockage of your low pressure EGR it's a very bad sign it's going to mean that you're you're getting soot into the low pressure EGR now the low pressure EGR the inlet pipe that goes to it for the airflow is after the DPF so you shouldn't get any soot at all go in there um, if you're getting soot go in there it means that your DPF is not capturing the soot uh, boost pressure too low I'm not really too sure why that one's coming up just yet but there is a very distinct sound coming from the engine um, sort of like sounds like a dropped a valve maybe I'm not sure but it's got a very heavy breathing sound coming from the engine but we're here to look at why his DPF basically is giving him a problem even though it says on here it's not a DPF problem apparently there, there does be another code that comes up saying about the EGR flow okay so if we look at the live data here we can see the soot grams are relatively low so it would seem that there's not a problem here with the DPF system component just trying to see where I can find the right items I'm looking for I want to see if I can find the DPF pressure so we got the exhaust gas recirculation there select those for a minute. Try and have a look through some of these other items. Exhaust system, there we go, differential pressure. Where is the differential pressure? Did I just see that? Exhaust temperature, exhaust temperature, differential pressure, 17, 18. Let's hold the revs up. So the DPF pressure seems to be okay. I'm not sure if you can hear that on the camera. It's got a loud noise coming from the engine. Sounds like almost like the airbox isn't connected properly or something. Let's try and have a look. It doesn't seem to make much difference. It sounds like it's it's 
producing exhaust gases coming back out from the inlet manifold. Get that distinctive sound where you can hear exhaust gas coming outwards of the inlet, the air intake. So it's a newer model with the Euro 6 setup on it. Okay, so if we come around to the exhaust pipe here, would have been a Euro 6. That is going to be the telltale sign there that the DPF is no more good, it's damaged, it's letting soot get past. Now unfortunately, that black soot means this DPF is letting the soot get past. So the DPF is cracked, it means this DPF is no more good. Yeah, so we're definitely getting air coming outwards of the inlet there, the air intake. So yeah, isn't, there's no point in me trying to clean these DPF, he was hoping that I'm going to clean these DPF for him and fix the problem. Now a little bit of a chat with the customer, he's explaining how this this noise, this heavy breathing sound coming from the engine wasn't there before he had the DPF cleaned with the TerraClean machine or whatever, so I don't know if it was a TerraClean machine, it was a some sort of massive machine that was injecting the cleaner in. It's possible that they've put too much cleaner in which has got into the engine cylinders and could have bent the valve. It, it is possible for that to happen, but that's just speculation. I'm only just going by what the customer's telling me. Um, but, end of the story is, not something I'm gonna be able to fix here on the side of the road for him. Um, there's no point in me cleaning these DPF because it's gonna be a waste of money, like he's already wasted twice. And that noise now coming from his engine, is going to need further looking into so unfortunately he's got a lot of heavy bills to pay for to get this sorted out uh, I'll recommend them one of my friends garages who he can take it to it might need to spend a week there or more um, and go from there so that is it for this video see you in the next video